In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Ledger Nano X Bluetooth not working. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you are having trouble pairing your Ledger Nano X or any other Ledger device over Bluetooth and you are trying to fix this, in this video, I'm gonna present some methods that you can try to help alleviate this issue. First, what you have to do is make sure that you have Ledger Live downloaded. Ledger Live is the official application that you can find at the Ledger website when you go over to App and Services, and it's where you can manage all of your accounts, see the market, discover things, send and receive assets, and most importantly, you will be able to troubleshoot your Ledger Nano X or any other Ledger device from there. You also have the option to download Ledger Live on mobile, but I highly recommend that you get the desktop version instead, as it is what I'm going to be focusing on in this video. Now, you might want to try some basic steps first. So, inside of Ledger Live, make sure that you are using the latest version of the firmware. If you see the option to update the firmware when you go over to My Ledger, you will be able to do it directly from the app. Updating your firmware is super important, not only to fix Bluetooth connectivity issues, but anything else related to your Ledger. So, make sure you have the latest version of the Ledger Nano X firmware. Once you are done updating the firmware, go into the settings of your actual Ledger device and you can try restarting Bluetooth. So turn it off and then on again, make sure that it is enabled. With these steps out of the way, after you update the firmware and Ledger Live, try pairing it up and it should work. If, for some reason, it still doesn't work, even if you are on the latest firmware for your Ledger device, one thing that impacts it for a lot of people is if you have changed your device name. So inside of Ledger Live, tap the name at the right side of your Ledger device, as you can see highlighted over here, and this will allow you to rename your Ledger Nano X. Make sure that you set it to the default that it came on when you received the product. So for example, Nano X 9E6B or any other, other model. As long as you have the default factory name set up, when you try to connect over Bluetooth, it is going to work and get detected. Besides these fixes of updating the firmware, there isn't a lot of much steps that you can take. These are the best methods to fix Bluetooth connectivity issues and they can all be done through the latest version of Ledger Live. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Ledger Nano X Bluetooth not working. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.